What's going on you guys? My name is Robson and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Ivory Cloud Serpent mount in World of Warcraft. The Ivory Cloud Serpent is a flying mount that was added in patch 8.3 of the Battle for Azeroth expansion alongside the Nazoth invasions in Oldham and the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. I really love this mount because it's one of very few Cloud Serpent models that have been added to the game since the Mists of Pandaria expansion. There's currently no data on the World of Warcraft's website about what percentage of players have obtained this mount, but once that information gets updated or becomes available, I'll include a link to it in the description of the video. Given that, as of the time of upload of this video, it was released in the most recent content patch, it's safe to assume that this is a pretty rare mount and one that not many people will have gotten yet, so it's definitely a cool one to snag. This mount also has kind of a unique method of capture because it includes both a rare spawn and rare drop, but not at the same time. There's a friendly NPC called the Ivory Cloud Serpent that will spawn rarely in the sky above the Veil of Eternal Blossoms during a Mogu Invasion Assault, and you'll need to use a lasso crafted by the Xantian Mogu to tame it. The first step in this process is to get yourself a Xantian Lasso, but in order to explain how to do that, I'll first need to give you some information about the patch. Patch 8.3 introduced a new event called the Nizoth Invasions into the game, an event in which the zones of Oldham and Vale of Eternal Blossoms are updated and overtaken by level 120 enemies. There are three different assault types that can occur in each zone, and only one will be active at any given time in each zone. In the Vale, the three assault types are the Black Empire, Manted, and Mogu invasions. The specific mobs we are looking for are called the Xantian Mogu, and while a few of them will always be present during all invasion types, significantly more of these Xantian mobs will be present during a Mogu invasion, so I'd strongly recommend waiting until a Mogu invasion is present in the Vale before farming for your lasso. The Xantian lasso can drop from any of the Mogu mobs that have the word Xantian at the start of their name. Go figure. This includes the Xantian subjugators, callers, protectors, raiders, and scouts. The lasso also has a chance to drop off of certain rare spawn mobs inside of the Vale, but it has the same drop rate as the non-elite and non-rare spawns, so I would recommend just sticking with the regular Xantian mobs if I were you. During Mogu invasions, there are a ton of Xantian mobs scattered across the Golden Stair area of the Vale, which I've marked on the map now. They're level 120 non-elite mobs and are very easy to farm solo, even with just dungeon blue gear at level 120. If you're watching this video in a future expansion, then it'll be even easier as you'll likely be one-shotting these mobs with ease. The drop rate of the lasso is rumored to be between 0.5 and 1%, so on average you'll need to kill between 1 and 200 Xanti and Mogu mobs to see the lasso drop. This may seem like a lot, but the kill rate is super quick, and you'll likely find one within just an hour or so of farming if you commit to only killing the Xanti and mobs until you find it. It's worth noting that these mobs also have a rare chance to drop Sky Shards, which are a rare reagent used to get another mount called the Thundering Ruby Cloud Serpent. If you get any of these Sky Shards during your hunt for the lasso, definitely keep them. They seem to be pretty rare, but I did get two Sky Shards before I found a lasso, so definitely keep your eyes peeled for those and loot them if you find them. Once you've gotten the Xantian lasso, the next step in the process is to find the Ivory Cloud Serpent. The Ivory Cloud Serpent is a friendly NPC that flies much higher than the other Cloud Serpents in the zone, and also at a much higher speed. The spawn time window for the Ivory Cloud Serpent appears to be roughly 90 to 120 minutes, so it's not too long of a camp compared to some other rare spawns. As far as I could tell, after wading through several respawn cycles, the Ivory Cloud Serpent always spawns in the exact same spot, so you don't have to deal with going between multiple different spawn locations. He'll do about one large patrol lap around the entirety of the Vale of Eternal Blossoms, and then despawn. Since there's only one spawn point, this means you can just sit near that location and catch him as soon as he spawns. In my opinion, it's not worth flying around the zone to try to find him, because chances are that even if he is up, he'll finish his current patrol lap and despawn before you find him. And if you're spending time flying around looking for him, you may miss him spawn at his spawn point, and then you'll have to wait another hour and a half to two hours to have a chance to find him again. With that in mind, I strongly recommend you sit in the sky above the Mogu camp that's located roughly at the coordinates 2756 on the map and wait for him to spawn there. Shout out to Siler who shared this graphic on Wowhead that includes both the spawn point and patrol path of the Ivory Cloud Serpent. As I mentioned earlier, the Ivory Cloud Serpent will fly fairly high above the other Cloud Serpents that are in the area, and the other Cloud Serpents are aggressive, so you'll want to make sure you're hovering far enough above them to stay out of combat with them. If you fly too high though, you'll get hit by the Nizoth Worms, and this will greatly reduce your flying speed, so you'll want to make sure that you find that sweet spot in the sky above the aggro range of the Cloud Serpents, but below the aggro range of the Nizoth Worms. 
The Ivory Cloud Serpent spawns while already flying on his patrol path, and he flies much quicker than I expected him to, so you'll need to be vigilant and make sure that you're actually watching at all times, otherwise he might spawn and immediately fly away without you realizing. To help with this, I strongly recommend setting up a target macro that you can spam while waiting on the spawn. When you spam the target macro, nothing at all will happen until the mob spawns, at which point you'll immediately target it, which both makes the sound and makes its unit frames pop up on your screen, which is usually enough of an alert to make you realize that he spawned. Again, the spawn window is roughly 1.5 to 2 hours from whenever he last despawned, so you'll just need to be patient, watch some YouTube videos, and wait until he shows up. Once he spawns, you simply need to target him, fly up to him to get within range, and then use the lasso, which starts a 2 second cast to tame him. The lasso can be used while mounted, so you don't need to worry about finding a point in his patrol where he's close enough that you can get on top of a building or anything crazy like that. You simply need to be within range and then while still mounted just click the lasso to use it and to capture the mount. Once the cast is complete, the mount will be captured and will appear in your bags. At this time, the Ivory Cloud Serpent will stop moving and just hover in the air for about 10 to 15 seconds and then despawn, restarting his spawn timer. One of the really cool things about the Ivory Cloud Serpent is that it doesn't immediately despawn once it's been captured, so multiple people can actually capture it at the same time. As I just mentioned, it is only a 10 to 15 second window that the mob will sit still before disappearing for another 2 hours after first being captured, but if you have a group of friends who all have the lasso, you can all make sure that you tame him within that 10 to 15 second window from whenever the first person tames it, and you'll all be rewarded with the mount before he despawns. What I'd recommend doing is putting the target macro and the actual lasso item right next to each other on your action bar so that you can just spam the target macro while AFKing and waiting for the spawn, and as soon as he spawns you'll immediately target him with the macro, at which point you can simply fly up to him and then select the second keybind for the lasso to immediately begin the tame cast. When I tamed him, I seemed to be the only one camping at his spawn location, so I immediately flew up to him and tamed him. I didn't really know what to expect and I was scared of being dismounted or something crazy happening, but it turns out it's super easy and I was rewarded with a really cool mount. In future content, it's very likely that the veil will be returned to its non-invasion form by default, so you'll need to specifically toggle the zone to be updated to its BFA invasion state. To do this, you'll need to speak to an NPC named Zidormi, who's located inside of the veil at Mogushan Palace, and ask them to show you what the veil looked like during the Nizoth invasion. This will toggle the zone to bring you into whatever current invasion is active. Something important to note is that the Ivory Cloud Serpent NPC will only spawn during a Mogu invasion. As I mentioned earlier, there are three different invasion types that can occur each week in the Veil, vale, so make sure you're in an active Mogu invasion before you start camping for the spawn, because the Ivory Cloud Serpent will not spawn during a Black Empire or Mantid invasion. To reiterate, because I want to make sure nobody wastes their time, you can farm for the lasso during any of the three invasions, though more of the mobs that drop it will be present during a Mogu invasion. The NPC itself, the Ivory Cloud Serpent, will only spawn during a Mogu invasion, so if you toggle the veil and find that it's a Manted or Black Empire invasion, you will not be able to find the Ivory Cloud Serpent until a Mogu invasion begins. So make sure you just wait, check back each week until a Mogu invasion is present, and then start camping at the spawn and looking for your Ivory Cloud Serpent. And that's pretty much everything I've got for you on this mount. It's a lot of information, but at its core, it's a pretty simple mount to obtain. Wait for the right conditions, farm a lasso from the Xanti and Mogu in the Vale, find the rare spawn NPC, and use your lasso to tame it. I almost always forget some sort of information when making these mount guides, so if you can think of anything I forgot, please comment it in the comment section below, and I'll create a pinned comment including all additional information that you guys come up with, crediting the people who mention each individual thing. I'll also use this pinned comment and the description of the video to add any additional information or changes that occur for this mount when it all inevitably changes in future content patches or expansions. Hopefully you get lucky and are able to tame this beast quickly. It's a really cool new tint of one of my all-time favorite mount models, the Cloud Serpent. If you found this video informational, helpful, or entertaining, then please remember to leave a like on the video and comment below to let me know. All interaction helps with the algorithm, and I really appreciate reading all the feedback you guys can leave to make my future videos better than this one. I'd appreciate any and all support you can give. Also, remember to subscribe if you're interested in future mount collection guides or other WoW content, as it's going to be the primary focus of this channel headed into Shadowlands and hopefully beyond. Thanks a lot for watching, good luck on the tame, and I'll see you next time.